John Kuypers is the author of Who's the Driver Anyway, published by Carswell, and the president of Performance Shift Leadership Tools based in Burlington, Ontario. He spoke with us about collaborative leadership. What exactly is collaborative leadership? Well, I think it's a misunderstood term because uh, it, it evokes the image of everybody gathering together in one room, holding hands and saying, okay, we, we can only make a decision if we all agree on the decision. And of course, that's a great way to paralyze your organization because nothing's going to get done. Uh, what col collaborative leadership really is, is the collaboration on who's going to get to decide. And that's the part that is not well understood, and that's where the book, Who's the Driver Anyway, is bringing clarity around that basic point, who gets to decide. Why do you recommend this style over more traditional leadership methods? What's happening, uh, what I observe in the 30 years that I've been in business, is that uh, the world is shifting and that people are, are taking more control, if you will, and wanting more control over over their lives both at home and at work. People expect to have a certain amount of autonomy and freedom to do things their own way. And the benefit of a collaborative leadership approach is there's room for that, but it has to have boundaries and limits. And that's the part that uh, middle managers typically are not well equipped to handle. In other words, they haven't really studied that part of it. When you're in management, you're focused on the work and getting things done. You're not really studying organizational development and organizational design and processes and that type of thing. And that's the part that needs to be understood by middle managers now in order to get people to accept collaboratively that this is the role that you're in and these are the limits and constraints and these are the freedoms you have and these are the, you know, the constraints as I just mentioned and that you need to accept that. If you don't accept that then we're going to have a hard time working together. And so that's the big benefit of, of, of the shift to collaborative leadership is that when you have that kind of conversation and when the leaders are equipped to do it well, then you have a team that is, is um, going to be committed to their role in making the overall team effective and successful. How can HR managers help other managers develop their own collaborative leadership style? That's a great question. Um, I think it's one of the most central roles in HR is to, is to do that kind of thing. And I think um, what it requires is, is, is two things. One is a, a commitment on the part of HR professional themselves to know and understand the science, if you will, of organizational design and development. Uh, an organization is really just a collection of processes and that's what line managers do well. They know how to execute so that sales functions happen, production functions, manufacturing, finance, all that kind of thing. But the role of HR is to equip those processes with people, high performing, skilled, competent, motivated people. And of course they can only go so far because ultimately we all have our own bo a boss and, and that person along with your peers has a big effect on your day-to-day -day performance. What HR can do is to equip those middle managers, if you will, with uh, a better knowledge and skill in this area that, so that they begin to see uh, the trade-off between executing the process, which is essentially all about task, and being successful with the people. One of the main themes in the book, Who's the Driver Anyway, is do you want to be right or do you want to be successful? Because it's a dilemma as a manager that there's so much focus on being right, in other words, getting the task done right, that, that what can happen is that you alienate the people. And so, as a result, they don't buy in, they don't um, commit to the level needed, and you end up ultimately not being successful. So this is a core theme that I believe every manager faces, is that dilemma. And what HR can do is to equip those managers to understand that dilemma better and to have more tools in their tool bag.